Got a couple of overripe bananas that you don't know what to do with? Well, this banana bread recipe is for you. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am Gian of GianCanCook.com. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. The first thing I'm gonna do is add all-purpose flour to a bowl. To that, I'm adding baking powder, baking soda, and I'm also adding ground ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And I'm just gonna stir that all together. I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt to that mixture as well. I'm gonna place this to the side and then get started on the wet ingredients. Now I am using three ripe bananas. I am gonna peel the bananas and then just mash it with a fork. This is a very, very simple recipe and it's definitely what I call a beginner's baker's recipe. This is a great, great recipe to make with kids. A little fun fact about me, I do not like to eat bananas. Not since I left Guyana where we had the smaller, sweeter bananas, I do not eat the bananas here, but I absolutely love banana flavored desserts. I love the flavor of banana, I just am not a fan of the texture. So while I will go down on some banana bread, do not give me a banana or anything that has raw bananas in it. And I'm just using my fork, as you can see this is simple enough, to just make sure that it is completely mashed. Once I've crushed the bananas, and it's okay to have a few lumps remaining, I'm gonna place that to the side and to a bowl, I am gonna add two eggs and I am gonna beat the eggs. This is one of the things I love about this recipe. It really doesn't require any special type of equipment. It literally everything is just mixed in a bowl or two. You just dump it all together. That's what I love about quick breads. To the eggs, I'm adding the bananas, I'm adding oil, and I'm just gonna give that a little stir. And then I'm also gonna add sugar. And as you can see for this recipe, I am using oil versus using butter. Oil does make it a little bit more moist, but you can absolutely use melted butter as well. And I wanna point out that I did add some vanilla extract to this. I somehow forgot to film it, but you do need a bit of vanilla extract, probably about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Now I'm gonna add the wet ingredients to the bowl with the dry ingredients. And using a spatula, I am just gonna fold it and mix this all together. It just takes just a few minutes to work the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. And you really don't want to overmix this. Just mix this until it comes together. If you do decide to use a hand mixer, mix it on a low speed and just until it comes together and there's no more dry flour in the mixture. Next, I'm gonna place this into a loaf pan and I am lining the loaf pan with parchment paper. This ensures that the cake is not gonna stick to the pan I am spraying the pan with nonstick spray, then I am lining it with the parchment paper. If you do not have parchment paper, instead you can simply use the nonstick spray on the pan and then add flour and just coat it with the flour. This helps it to release easily as well. Next, I'm gonna add the batter into the lined loaf pan. And as you can see, there's still some lumps in there and that's fine, that's the beauty of quick breads. More than likely, those are lumps of bananas and it's just fine. It's basically gonna melt into the batter as it bakes. Now, once I've gotten all of the mixture into this pan, I'm just gonna spread it out across the top just to make sure that it is one even layer. Then I'm gonna place it into my oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees and bake it for about 55 to 60 minutes just until it springs back on the top when touched. This is where the parchment paper comes in handy. I'm just gonna remove it from the pan with ease, place it on a rack and allow it to cool before cutting into it. Look at how beautiful that looks. I love a good crusty banana bread. My favorite is the end piece and the inside is just moist and packed full of banana flavor. Thank you guys for joining me again. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.